Good day, this is MC Squared Coaching Center and ang topic po natin ngayon is fraction pa rin po and this is part 4 ng lecture natin na fraction and I'm Engineer Melvin Jan Habla Banzuelo Okay, so simula na po natin So, sa part 4 ng lecture natin na fractions uh, atin pong i-discuss ang operations ng fraction. So, we will start with the addition of fraction. So, we have here evaluate 2 over 9 plus over, 2 4 over 9. Okay? So, this is letter A 6 over 9, B 12 over 18, C 2 third, D 54 over 81. Now, tandaan lang po natin, if ever, mag a po tayo ng dalawang fractions. Okay? mag a po tayo ng dalawang fractions. If parehas po yung denominator, as is lang po siya. Okay? And then, i-add po natin yung numerator lang. Okay? So, yung numerator lang po yung i-add natin. So, halimbawa, yun yung given, 2 over 9 plus 4 over 9. So, sinabi ko kanina, pag parehas po yung denominator, as is na po yan, na sa final answer, yung denominator natin is 9. And then, yung i-add natin is yung numerator na lang po. So, again, ang Tignan natin if parehas yung denominator, as is na lang yung denominator, and then yung i-add natin is yung numerator 2 at saka 4 na lang po. So therefore, ayan po siya, kasi since parehas yung denominator nila, lagay na lang po natin 9 dito, and then sa numerator po, that is 2 plus 4. Okay? 2 plus 4. So therefore, that is 2 plus 4, the result is 6 over 9. And... Sa exam, pag masyado tayong nagmamadali, uh, tendency, ang isagot po natin ay si letter A po. But take note, hindi po si letter A yung final na sagot. Kasi nga, uh, pa para masabi natin na final answer yung given fraction, kailangan yung fraction na yun is in simplified form. So therefore, if we have 6 over 9, Yung sabi ko po sa part 3 ng lecture ko po, in order for you to simplify, let's try first divide both the numerator by 2 and uh, numerator denominator by 2. And then and so on, divide lang natin by 2 hanggang sa aabot tayo sa point na kung saan hindi na po natin ma-divide by 2, itry naman natin divide by 3. Now in this case, yung numerator at saka denominator na 6 at saka 9, hindi po siya ma-divide by 2. Okay? Since hindi po siya ma-divide by 2, itry po natin div divide by 3. Okay? So, let's try divide it by 3. So, ibig sabihin po niya sa numerator, 6 divided by 3. And then sa denominator, 9 divided by 3. Okay? So, 6 divided by 3, we know that, ano po sagot niya? That is 2. And then, 9 divided by 3, ang sagot po niya, that is 3 po ang sagot. So therefore, from the choices, it's very obvious po na ang correct answer na po is si letter C. Okay? Hindi po si letter A. Alam naman po natin sagot, tama si letter A, pero yung pinaka-correct answer or correct answer po talaga is letter C. Kung pansinin po natin, equivalent fractions naman po si letter A, B, at saka si C. I think pati naman si D, equivalent fraction din po si D. Okay, so silang apat are all equivalent fractions. So therefore, kung titignan natin, tama po silang lahat. If babasihan po natin sa value. But since yung best answer yung hinahanap natin, yung best answer po pag involving fraction is yung simplified form ng, ng fractions. Okay? Problem number 2, anong pinagkaiba ni problem number 2 kay problem number 1? Kung titignan natin, this is 2 third and 4 over 9. So therefore, it's very obvious na yung pagkakaiba ni problem number 2 kay problem number 1, sa problem number 2, magkaiba po yung denominator. Yung denominators dito ay 3 at saka 9. So, madaling i-add ang dalawang fractions if ever yung denominator nila ay equal. Kasi pag equal yung denominator nila, as is lang po yung denominator, and then yung i-add na lang po natin is yung numerator nila. But in this problem, magkaiba po yung denominator. Now, in solving 
uh, fractions, the addition of fractions with different denominators, we have two methods. Yung first method natin is to get the least common uh, denominator or the LCD of the denominators ng fraction. So, ibig sabihin po niyan, class, we will get the LCD of 3 and the LCD of 9. So, to get the LCD of 3, we know that 3 is 1 times 3 and 9 is 1 times 3 times 3. So, in order for us to get the LCD, bring down 1, ito bring down natin 3 common and then itong 3. So, therefore, the LCD is 1 times 3 times 3. So, 1 times 3 times 3, that is 9 po yan. So, therefore, the LCD is, is 9. So, yung result po nito class ng 2 third plus 4 over 9, yung denominator po niya ay 9. So, therefore, kung sa exam, eliminate na po natin si letter B at saka si letter C. It's either A or D na. Kasi sure na tayo na yung denominator niya ay 9. Okay? Now, Diba, sabi kanina, sa problem number 1, hindi po natin pwedeng ma-add yung dalawang fractions if magkaiba yung denominator. So, so kagaya nito, magkaiba ang denominator, hindi po siya natin pwedeng i-add directly. Kailangan itong 2 third na to, gawin natin na dapat yung denominator niya maging 9 rin. Okay, so para maging 9 ang denominator, ano, ano yung pwedeng i-multiply natin sa 3 para maging 9? Diba, 3? So, since magmumultiply tayo ng 3 sa denominator na to, dapat magmumultiply din tayo ng 3 sa numerator. Para, kung titignan natin, 2 third pa rin yung result. Okay, so ito po yung ibig kong sabihin. Okay, so sabi ko kanina, hindi-hindi po pwedeng i-add yung dalawang fractions if ever magkaiba yung denominator. Okay, so since na-solve natin yung LCD ng dalawang fractions na magkaiba yung denominator, so, therefore, yung LCD na yun, yun na po yung denominator ng result ng addition. So, para ma-add po natin si 2 3rd and 4 9, kailangan na maging 9 din yung denominator ni 2 3rd. So, para maging 9, ano yung number na multiply natin is 3. Since nag-multiply tayo ng 3 sa baba, kailangan din tayo mag-multiply ng 3 sa taas. Para kung titignan natin, makancel pa rin to, 2 3rd pa rin yung maiiwan. Parang as is pa rin po. Walang nangyari. Two-third pa rin yung value niya. Okay? So therefore, if ganito yung mangyari, magiging 9 na yung denominator na yan. Okay? So therefore, bakit naging 6 over 9? Because that is 2 times 3, 6. Then 3 times 3, that is 9. So eto na yung bago nating equation. Since ano yung nakita natin? Parehas na yung denominator nila. So therefore, yung numerator, pwede na nating i-add ng Diretso. So, therefore, ayan na po siya. So, as is lang yung denominator, and then 6 plus 4 sa taas. And then 6 plus 4, ano yung result? That is 10 over 9. Kung pag titignan natin, yung 10 over 9 na to hindi hindi na po ma-simplify. Yan na po talaga yung simplified form. And base sa choices, yung correct answer po dito is letter, ayun, that is letter A. Problem number 3, find the sum of 2 fifth and 4 over 7. So, ito pa rin, magkaiba yung denominators. Kaso, sa problem number 2, ang ginawa ko po doon para masolve yung, yung sum ng 2 fractions ay kinuha ko yung LCD. Okay. Now, in this case, ibang method naman yung gamitin, method number 2. So, sa method number 2 natin, we will use the cross multiplication of fractions. Okay. So, we have... Uh, 2 fifth and 4 over 7. So, i-add natin yan. 2 fifth and 4 over 7. So, ang ibig ko pong sabihin sa cross multiplication, ganito po siya. Okay? Yan. So, 2 times 7. Yan, or 7 times 2. And then, ito naman, that is 5 times 4. And then, dito sa baba, that is 5 times 7. Okay? So, yung sa baba, 5 times 7 will represent the denominator of the result and then yung cross multiplication i-add din natin. Okay? So, i-continue natin. So, yan na po siya. Yan, 7 times 2. Yan po yung 2 times 7. Ayan po. And then, 4 times 5. Yan po yung 4 times 5. So, plus, okay, so 2 times 7 plus 4 times 5. Yan, 2 times 7 and 4 times 5. 
over sa baba na 5 times 7. So, itong 2 times 7 na to, that is 14. Itong 4 times 5 na to, that is 20. Itong 5 times 7 na to, that is 35. So, ayan po siya. So, 14 plus 20, that is 34 over 35. Okay? So, I think nakuha na po natin yung correct answer. And this 34 over 35 is the simplified form na ng fraction. Okay? So, the correct answer here is letter D. Okay, so I hope klaro po yung pagkaka-explain ko po. Okay, I'm hoping na naintindihan po natin yung pagkaka-discuss ko po ng solution. Okay, so nandaan lang, we have two methods of adding fractions na may different denominator. First, that is using the LCD of the denominators ng fraction. Okay, the second method is using the cross multiplication. Okay, para sa iba, mas madali yung cross multiplication. The only disadvantage pinsan ng cross multiplication kasi yung result kailangan mo pang i-simplify. Okay? Okay, thank you for watching and I hope na, na you learn something sa addition of fraction. And if ever may mga request kayo na topics, just PM me sa Facebook or sa Messenger. And uh, I'll try my best na magawa ng lecture na topic na request po natin. Again, sa mga gustong magpa-online coaching, you can message me naman for an affordable price naman po. So, we can have online coaching uh, through video call. So, PM me lang, lalo na sa mathematics po. Okay, so my next topic is uh, uh, fractions part 5. And please, please do not forget to click subscribe and also share to, to others. Okay, have a nice day and enjoy studying.